Hey guys, here's a quick video on how to change the controller on your tilt mechanism for the Taro T2D brushless gimbal. Uh, previously, I was using this little pod control here. It's P3, <clears throat> and um, it's just not very accurate. And every time I'm flying, I got my thumb on the throttle, and I have my index finger right here to control the movement and I always overshoot and it's just really frustrating so what I've done is I changed the settings to where my elevator switch is now the down control so when I flip it up the gimbal goes down or the tilt goes down and I changed my training switch to make it go up so when I'm flying, I got my thumb on the elevator and aileron, and I can just reach over here and go like this, and the camera goes up. And when I stop it, it stops. Much better than this little knob switch, but it's still active, so if I do want to do some fine uh, movements when I'm doing FPV, I can still move it down see the cameras moving but I got it to where it's desensitized a lot and I'll show you in a minute how I did that and I can also go up just a little tiny bit if I go down and you see if I have to turn this little knob all the way to the right to make it move make the tilt move and I have to make it go all the way to the bottom left to make it go down so because every now and then I do still try to use this and if I move it you know left and right it overshoots so now it's I figured out how to kind of like an expo control so I desensitize it so that if I touch it by accident it's not moving so and I'll show you now where I change those controllers and right now the tilt is plugged into my gear switch or channel 5 in my uh, FR Sky receiver and uh, change the programming on if you have the 9XR and this is actually only for the 9XR users uh, sorry if you have the other uh, radios but I like the 9XR a lot uh, it's got a lot of bells and whistles and I'm still trying to figure out what the other stuff is so here's channel 5 uh, the elevator switch is on full, 85%, 71%, well actually, I just changed that, 70% on the training switch, which is full, and then 20% uh, on the P3 positive, and you have to make your adjustment on the offset switch, so I'm going to go in, and you see the weight is 20 that's for the down movement and the offset is minus or negative 60 so that when you move this switch over to the right it the tilt goes up and if you move it to the left it starts going down very very slow that's for fine-tuning if you're doing FPV so if you overshoot on this elevator switch right here and you go down it because it goes 135 degrees uh, all the way out so if you overshoot that you can always make the adjustment and make it go up uh, so there you go and you can stop it and the only way the training switch will work is when your elevator switch is in the down or on position so you can go up and I figured it's about six seconds when it goes down so when I hit the elevator switch boom one two three four five six but stop and that's your 90 degree movement same thing going up on the training switch you count to six one two three four five six and there you go so that's pretty much it if you have any questions give me a call or shoot me a PM and I'll try to answer your back as uh, quickly as I can. Hope you like it. Subscribe.